Fish Mapping version 2 has now launched. With this version comes a few new features and some other basic menu updates. We will review the new features in this brief video. Now, when you open the Fish Mapping app, at the top of the screen, to the left of the calendar, you will see two new additional icons. The first icon represents a ruler. When selected, this opens a measuring tool. With this tool, you can measure from your current position or measure from point to point. To use measure from current position, long tap a location on screen and the range and bearing from your position to the location selected will be shown. When point to point is selected, long tap once and a starting point will be shown. Long tap again to establish the end point. Once the end point is established, the distance and bearing between the two points will then be displayed. Press cancel to return to the regular chart screen. The second new feature is accessed by selecting the boat icon located to the right of the measuring icon at the top of the page. When selected, it opens a routing tool. Here you have the option to create a route. You can also view, export, and delete any previous routes. To enter a new route, select Create Route. Next, tap the Route Name field. A keyboard will appear, and you can enter the name of the route using up to 12 characters. Once the name is complete, tap on the plus icon to the right of the word Waypoints to remove the keyboard, then tap again. This returns you to the chart. Here, you can pinch to zoom in and out and turn on and off any of the fish mapping layers. Here, we have turned on fishing recommendations, plankton fronts, and temperature fronts. We can start a route by long tapping on a position which creates the first waypoint. Long tap at another location, and a second waypoint will be entered. Range and bearing information from the first waypoint to the next will be shown. You can continue this process until all desired legs of the route have been created. When you have all of the desired positions on the route entered, select Save. The route will then be displayed full screen, listing all of the waypoints that were created. To store the route, select the Complete Route button on the page. Once completed, you can then view any route on screen by tapping the eye symbol next to the route name. Going back to the chart list, you can select the download symbol. When download is selected, a GPX file is automatically created in the mobile device download folder. Once a route has been sent to the device folder, it can be transferred to an SD card or shared with compatible app and then imported to the multifunction display on the boat. You also have the option to delete a route. Another new feature included with version two is convergence zones. When sea surface height anomaly is selected in the main menu, you have the option of selecting convergence zones. When selected, in addition to the contours showing where the sea height is above and below average, yellow squares will appear that denote where convergence zones occur. These zones are areas where upwellings and downwellings converge on one another. This often creates eddies and rips where bait fish are often found and can be productive areas to fish. If you short tap on the yellow box, the pop-up will display more details about that location. This concludes the latest update review. We hope you find these changes valuable additions to the fish mapping service. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at fish.mapping at SiriusXM.com. Thank you.